Welcome to DataViz Dev Talk. I'm your host, Minhas Kazi, developer advocate for Data Studio. In this video, we'll talk about the AppScript development environment that you will use to create your own community connector. Let's get started. If you're not already familiar with Google AppScript, its development environment may seem quite different from what you're used to. When you use AppScript, you develop your code in a browser-based code editor. The code is a specialized version of JavaScript, and you don't have to host your app as it lives and runs on Google servers in the cloud. We're not going to go into too much detail about AppScript in this video. We'll cover just the basics to get you started with building your own community connector. If you're interested to learn more about AppScript, you can check out the AppScript code lab. The link is in the description below. To start building your own connector, head over to the AppScript development environment at script.google.com and start a new project. An AppScript project represents a collection of files and resources, sometimes referred to simply as a script. In our video series, we might use AppScript project, connector code, and script interchangeably. Your project can contain one or multiple JavaScript files. The project will also contain a manifest, a special JSON file that contains certain metadata about the script itself. We'll talk more about the manifest in a later video. AppScript provides services to help you develop your app, including cache service, lock service, property service, and many other. For example, the cache service allows you to temporarily cache results for a time-consuming operation. The service lets you cache data at public level where the data can be accessed by all users of your connector, or at private level where the data can be accessed only for individual users. There is even a Data Studio app service that helps you to build your own community connector. You can write your code, execute it, test and debug all within the AppScript environment without leaving your browser. However, if you want to use your own favorite IDE to develop your code, that's also possible. Then you'll need to use Clasp. Clasp is an open source tool separate from the AppScripts platform. It lets you develop and manage AppScripts project locally from your terminal rather than the AppScripts editor. You can also use your favorite development tools like Git when building your connector with Clasp. The Clasp code lab provides an overview of all Clasp features. The link is in the description if you want to try it out. Now let's say you have built your connector. When you or some other user tries to use it, Data Studio will execute the connector code on the user's behalf. When a user uses a connector for the first time, they must authorize the connector to act on their behalf. During this time, the UI presents a prompt to the user to start the authorization flow for that connector. During this flow, the UI tells the user what the connector wants permission to do. For example, if the connector is fetching data from BigQuery, it will ask for BigQuery scope during the authorization. You can read more about the OAuth process and the OAuth scopes at the link in the description. This overview of AppScript should help you to get started with building your own connector. You can always go to our developer site at developers.google.com slash datastudio for more information. If you like this video, stay tuned on the GCP channel for more Data Studio content. Thanks for watching. <laughs>